Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be talking about the five best setting sprays for combo skin. I do have a good mix of drugstore priced and higher end priced setting sprays here, so before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like top five videos like this. And if you haven't already and you would like to, hope you consider subscribing, hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. So let's go ahead and start with the more affordable sprays that I really like and then move on to the more higher end sprays. So some of my favorite sprays are actually from the drugstore at around $10 and they're both from Milani. So these are the Milani sprays. The first I have is the Milani Make It Last setting spray and then I also have the Make It Dewy setting spray. I'm not a huge fan of the Make It Dewy on its own as a spray, but if I use the Make It Last to settle all my powders in together, let it fully dry, and then I add on the Make It Dewy, they work amazing together. It's beautiful. I do see a difference in the longevity of my makeup with these two together. I don't see that when I use them separately. Normally, I just use the Make It Last to settle in my powder, like the same way I would use a Fix Plus but I'm not expecting the Fix Plus to really make my makeup last a full day in the heat. But when I use these together, I really do see a longevity difference. Together, they're about the price of a higher end setting spray. And if anything, I really suggest you pick up the Make It Last spray because it's just such a great dupe for the Fix Plus spray from MAC. It's amazing and it smells fantastic. It's awesome to throw in your purse if you just want to touch up throughout the day, keep it in your drawer at work to touch up. It's just so, I want to try it a little bit, it's just so refreshing. It's just really refreshing, it smells amazing. And for 10 bucks, that's full price. So if you get coupons, if you get your CVS bucks, you can get it for way less than that. Wait till it's on sale. I really think this is one of the best products at the drugstore, hands down. The next affordable setting spray that I really like is from Scandinavia. This is the makeup setting spray. This one is actually the bridal version. I like the bridal and the regular makeup finishing spray the same. They're both amazing at extending your makeup wear. They're the same price. I really just think they made one say bridal and one say regular. There's not a huge difference, honestly. I only buy these when they're on sale, and they do sales all the time. Just sign up for their email list. They will normally do, like, buy two, or it's like 30% off, or you get free samples, and you get free shipping. So wait till you get an email that has all that, like, jargon in it, and then buy a couple. I do still have more than half of this left, so I didn't jump on their Labor Day sale that just passed, though normally they have a really nice Labor Day sale. But I do have a few setting sprays to get through, but I will be purchasing at least one or two more more of these by the end of the year because I really do like the formula and the bottles are gigantic and they're affordable like you can't beat it really. The next setting spray that I adore is one that I really wasn't expecting and I got this on the recommendation of another YouTuber from the Taylor. She really liked the Hangover 3-in-1 spray from Too Faced. This is actually such a good setting spray. I avoided it for the longest time because I heard it was supposed to be scented like coconut and I can't stand coconut, but really, like the butter bronzer smells more like coconut than this does. It doesn't actually smell like coconut. It smells like really, really like artificial perfume. I mean, if you're really sensitive to scent, you might not like this, but if you're okay with the scent, then I would highly recommend you try this out. This is, uh, it's a great all-in-one spray. Because for the most part, I will spray a nice like powder setting spray like the Milani and then top it with a Scandinavia spray. But I find that when I use this Too Faced one, I just have to use that. I don't have to go in with something to set in all my powder and then something else to make the makeup last throughout the day. This actually does both. Which shocked me. Like I really didn't think that a high-end spray would make such a difference, but it did. So I am out of this little mini that I have right here. I do have another Too Faced mini that I'm going to go through, but if I go through all of that and a few of my other sprays and I haven't found anything I like as much as this, I'll be buying the full size. Okay, and the last setting spray I'm going to talk about today is from Cover Effects. This is the Illuminating Setting Spray. I actually got this in a boxy charm months and months and months ago, and I still haven't gone through the whole bottle, but this is the best dewy setting spray. 
I've found because it really does sink everything into your face. It really sets everything down and it feels matte but looks glowy. I'm not quite sure how it happens. It doesn't look like glitter on your face, but you just get this beautiful glow. I haven't been going for that so much in the summer because I already have a glow. Thank you, sweat. <laughs> but this is something that I reached for a lot in the spring and back in the winter when I got it. And I will definitely be reaching for it again as we're getting into fall and winter once again. I really think this is one of the best higher end setting sprays that's actually worth the price. If I say it, it's, it's expensive. It's like 30 something dollars. I think it's worth the price. If you're looking for a nice dewy spray, if you're looking for something to give you a nice glow, I'd highly recommend either trying a sample of this or just, you know, trying it out. Because as someone with combination skin, it's hard to find something that's a good balance between your oily areas and your dry areas. This is the one spray that I've found that gives me a nice glow, but doesn't make my oily areas look like an oil slick. It just looks in, like, like I'm glowing from within, all around. So those are my top five setting sprays for combo skin. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.